Okay guys, welcome back to the workshop. So today we're gonna to be cutting up these sheets of plywood and we're gonna be building a torsion box to use as a CNC table. Currently I've got my track saw set up with my parallel guides. I've made my measurement so that will cut this first sheet and then we can just throw the parallel guides back onto these other sheets that I have over here and we can make a nice repeatable cut on those. So I'm just gonna grab my ear defenders and then uh, we're ready to do some our first cut. Okay, so that's the first cut. That's the first time using the parallel guides. To see how I made these, check out one of my earlier videos. Probably saved about 300 quid making them on the 3D printer. Um, yep, so we've got our first cut that looked like that was exactly on the line. I'm just going to drop the saw blade down a touch more uh, and that should get us all the way through the sheet and should give us a nice clean underside on the cut as well. So we've gone through there, put a small cut in the table. For me in particular, I'm not too concerned about that. But there you can see, here's the piece that we've cut off. I'll just grab my tape measure. So based on my drawing, I want this piece to be 1,110 millimetres. So we'll just check that. That's bang on that. Okay, so we can grab a few more sheets off the rack, get them on the table, and we know we're gonna cut all of those to 1,710 millimetres because our parallel guide is set up properly. Okay, so there you go, that's six full-size sheets in well under 10 minutes. I'm just gonna lay one of the next boards down, mark up for the next cut, and we'll go through uh, the six bigger pieces to take off um, another piece that we need. That shouldn't take too long, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I think you get the idea. The parallel guides work really well. They produce, reproduce really accurate cuts again and again. You only have to measure once so you don't introduce errors into your measurements. Um, but my camera's gonna run out so I'm just gonna go and put that on charge. I'll cut up these last pieces and we'll get on with the next bit of building the CNC torsion box. See you in a minute. Okay, so the last thing to do is just to measure these up. 
and cut them to length on the miter saw. Right, okay, so now it's time to put pocket holes into all of the ribs. Uh, I've marked on here a series of pencil lines where the pocket holes are gonna go. So we've got hundreds and hundreds of these to do. So I'll crack on with that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I needed nine of those short ribs, and now I've got some medium length ribs to do and some long ribs. I'll do those off camera and uh, we'll get back when we're ready to attach the tabletop. Okay guys, so we've got all the pocket holes drilled into the work pieces. I'm gonna start by now um, assembling the table frames. Uh, you can see over there, I've got two done already. So I'm gonna start by doing the frame first and then I'm gonna put the, and then I'm gonna screw the top onto the frame itself. Uh, so I'll just do a little time lapse and you can see me putting that together.
Okay, last thing to do is to make the base for this table. So it's just basically gonna be four legs and some side runners, and then we can slide this off and onto its new table. Uh, so I'll crack on with that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I've finished the build of the table. Um, I've got my custom ball screws that have arrived from China. I've got the <clears throat> wooden side rails and Z-axis. Um, that's been delivered from, from uh, Pete who designed the route for CNC. So thanks very much for those, Pete. They're looking really good. I've also got my steel box section which is gonna act as the linear rails along with the bearings. I've got all of my 3D printed parts are all made so I'm just at the moment I'm just waiting on the motors um, and I'm waiting on some bolts to arrive so when the bolts get here all of the actual motion system will be assembled and then when the motors arrive then we'll start working on the electronics so keep an eye out for that in next week's video uh, where I'll show you how we get on with the rest of the build thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you again soon